Alright, welcome back to another episode of Watching Shoes. Somehow I gotta get shoes and 18 wheels to combine and make sense. But uh, this is gonna be 18 wheeler video about speedometer. I'll go ahead and turn it on here. And you can see speedometer goes to pointing south, which is not what it's supposed to do. It's broken, doesn't communicate with the Qualcomm anymore. So I've got to uh, do paper logs until I get this thing fixed. And I'll walk you through the fix right now. All right, so that being broken. I'm gonna walk you through going underneath this truck. Let's see. Welcome to another episode of Watching Shoes. Actually, I want to shut that door. Oh, anyway, shoes on deck, the most comfortable. It's uh, one of my most comfortable shoes. It would be the Adidas. I used it to walk, to go get the tools for this job, as well as to work on the truck. Just a real comfortable pair of shoes. Adidas Y3 with the uh, Meshington going on in the front. Leather toe box, pretty cool shoe. I don't have on a watch today because I didn't care to break it. When climbing under this truck. All right, so gotta get to that uh, tandem, I mean the uh, transmission right there. You can see the teeth on the underside those teeth right there, those teeth sitting right there, are what the magnet that sits on top is counting. Let's see how quickly I can walk you through this. I gotta actually slide up underneath this trailer, which is not easy, tractor. And then get turned around. We'll get the equipment in the right area all oh, without an edit I'm not a professional youtuber so I don't have editing equipment I don't do much editing I just point and shoot all right now I'm just about in a better position these are the tools I pretty much used this is the old This is the new. All right, there we go. So, this is what is sitting inside. You gotta take the pin out and pull this out. This is the first time this has ever been pulled out on a almost 10 year truck. So, all of this is welded and bond together with the metal that housed it. So, I used this drill bit after using a screwdriver I used a screwdriver to pry this out of the housing and then more screwdriver to crush this on the underneath side and then I used this to drill my way through the bonded plastic to the metal to just clearing out the housing so you can reinsert a brand new one in. And I'm trying to give you a good image of what I'm talking about. Without getting a Charlie horse. So, this is the housing here. That's the housing that it was sitting in. As you can see, I've been, with all the grit in there, it's just been about using a drill to drill down through that and separate the plastic from the casing in there. Top and bottom. Once you've done that, you've got your drill
taking your drill. Sorry, it's extremely difficult to move around in here. There is no room for a human being. But you take your drill, you drill a hole all the way through. That's a three quarter inch. Once you've got that drilled all the way through, you reinsert your new sensor, speed sensor. There's the new speed sensor. Ready to get pushed in. Bottom of it's gonna have to touch all but touch those teeth there. And there's a magnet inside. Here's the magnet. There's a magnet like this inside. This is just the crushed remnants of what I had to get out of it. Out of the old one. So that's inside. There's a whole lot of plastic inside. We have to get all these parts and pieces out. That's the old one. Put the screwdriver right through the bottom and then just pull as much as you can out. And then go over on the top side and push as much as you can out. And then your line is right here. Reconnect it. Get it pressed down in there. And check your speedometer. Uh, you all would know if it worked because I used the correct speedometer side by side the broken one on the thumbnail thanks for checking out another episode of watching shoes all 18 wheels worth nah, i don't think that'll work we'll, we'll figure it out see y'all on the next episode